Number one, don't be afraid. Go out there and do what you need to do for your, your own business. Don't be afraid. You never know where to lead you. Never know where to lead you to. My wife and I, we started uh, <laughs> it was it was funny how we got started. That's a that's a whole nother whole nother story. Uh, but our our first truck was a 2014 Peter Good 386. Had a pack car engine, five hundred horsepower pack car. Put the truck to work. But before we, before we did all of that, this is the part that I was afraid on. You know what? How am I gonna, you know, start over with fuel? You know, I didn't. We didn't have this twenty, thirty, four thousand dollars that uh, you know started with my mentors. But I'm so we got we got blessed. I, I would I would definitely say that we got blessed. Uh, to where uh, the insurance I didn't have to put anything down for the, the Chicago insurance, but. Um, I got my bobtail insurance through Progressive. So that's about the bobtail insurance cost me running up underneath another company, uh, DLT number. The uh, my own personal bobtail insurance is like fifty-seven dollars a month, um, and my cargo insurance is six hundred dollars a month. So we were able to sign with this company and put the truck to work immediately, and that's exactly what we did. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to start out with my own DOT number because I wanted to run up underneath someone. Even though I've been, I've been driving what, sixteen years, seventeen years, mm-hmm. going on seventeen, going on eighteen. You've already worked for the company, and I was already working for the company. So I didn't want to go up underneath my own authority starting out. I know how that that right there can that can plan that can play out for you. Um, a lot of fees involved. And if, if you are, if you're an owner operator, I'm not I'm not talking about a truck owner. If you are an owner operator, it's a lot of it's a lot of things that you won't catch because you're out there trying to you know make revenue for your truck. Um, but for the ones that you know don't own the truck or let's say drive the truck, hey, more power to you. But for your owner operators. Me, the best thing to really do is go up under me someone else's uh, someone else's authority and not have to worry about the other cracks and stuff like that. So um, it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge. Like I said, when we got the first truck, <clears throat> when we bought the first truck, we uh, we ran that truck for what, they, like six months? Mm-hmm. We ran for about six, I'd say about four months. Four months before we started having problems with it. Um, and we did have problems. The first truck? Yeah. The Packard engine was, uh... The white truck? Yeah, the white people. I don't even know the problems with that truck. That was it. That's the one that we spent. The one we spent almost $20,000 on getting it out of the shop. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. So, we got that truck out of the shop. And, uh, and we went back. Just kept going, just kept going, kept going. Through the blessings of God, we just kept going, just kept going. So it is a lot of work, in it. it is a lot of work. Phone ring all day, you know, at night because I, I, we have we have guys that work in the daytime and we have guys that work at night. So I had to, as as my fleet grew, I had to, I had to get out of the truck. So, and that's, that's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. So, 
Don't be afraid to jump out there if you have a dream, if you have a desire, if you have a passion. Don't be afraid to jump out and do what you need to do. You want to jump it, bro. Um, the dollar amount that, that we started our company with was under 10 grand. So God bless. It was under 10 grand. The only thing that that, that, that could have been the only thing wrong with the truck is we're not even going to We had to get it out of the shop. We had uh, uh, the top end of it overhauled. The heads, injectors, we had all of that. Uh, overall, so yeah, but it's still running today. That was in 2018. It's still running today. Same truck. Okay. Don't be afraid. Just, 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 just handle your business. Just stay persistent. Man. Stay on top of your, stay on top of your, your information. Stay on top of your paperwork. You know all of that. And. Uh, Hey, we go further, we go further to detail. It actually feels good to uh, to manage your business, to see it, see it grow, start it up, see it grow, and manage it. It, it actually feels real good. Uh, being at home every day, so that's 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 perfect. That's perfect for me. Then what another part of what we got blessed with is we make the we make the amount of revenue we make and our trucks don't go outside the state of Texas. Which means like big time guys they home every night. Um, my intermodal guys they home every evening and my line haul guys they home at night. They home in the early morning time. So never run outside the state of Texas. That's how we got blessed. I didn't go with just I didn't go with a real big company, big company. But I went with a company that had that have stations in every major city in the state of Texas. To where a lot of a lot of our freight go from hub to hub rather than in a motor. They, they go direct live on loads and then the guys bring the trailers back in. But they kind of, the daytime guys they take them back to the port the long. So I just really explained how the rest of it. I wanna uh, you know, give thanks to my wife for really putting up, understanding, and dealing with uh, with me being gone, uh, focusing on the business. So, I thank you for that. Thank God for allowing it to, uh, to accomplish for both of us. Some days, like some days, it's frustrating. Some days, it's it's, it's, it's wonderful. But hey, you gotta understand one thing: when you when you have an organization, you gotta deal with all the different kinds of spirits. So you gotta be able to know how to deal with. Them. That's, that's the thing that you gotta do. I, I, I believe that's the thing you gotta do. But uh, yeah, man, y'all don't don't be afraid to, to jump out there. I mean, it don't it don't necessarily have to be trucking. You know, it, it can be it can be anything. Just just follow your dream, follow your passion. But, uh, trucking is a new goal, especially in, especially in America. It's a new goal. It's a uh, company that that I'm I'm leased to. Me and my dispatcher was looking at the. Uh, Looking at a screen over the internet, looking at a screen on the internet before Hurricane Laura uh, came to shores, and on that on that map, on that Earth map, the world map, on the internet, it showed us every container, every ship that was coming for its import and export. And guys, when I say the containers, the waters are filled with nothing but ships that has containers for goods 
a lot of them, a, a mass, vast majority of them is coming off the coast of Africa. They're coming to the United States. So that's what that's that's what I'm focused on. In order to in order to rebuild, you know, uh, America back to where it used to be, the forest trading, everything comes in on a ship, plane, or boat. So you see every you see a lot of things coming on the on the uh, on the animal side, the tank side. So, you gotta stop the warehouses back up. It's the only way you can do it. But that that uh that image was it was interesting because by Hurricane Laura was forming in the Gulf and really coming in coming into the Gulf towards uh, uh Louisiana, they actually told the ships that had the containers they was they was making all those ships go down south to Corpus Christi. So it it, it was a lot of ships in the water that way. So it was, it was really interesting. It was really interesting. Yeah, this is about twelve. Mm-hmm. Close to 12.30. I just did a little short, you know, short video. You know, let my wife uh, upload it. But we'll be on here more with some more trucking information, guys. Uh, like I said, it's been over, going on 18 years I've been out here uh, trucking in the trucking industry. And I, I learned my teachings hands-on. And then um, I learned a lot of my teachings when I was when I was younger, you know, watching my father. Um, that when 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 I was born, he was trucking, and so that's how I mean, yeah. yeah it's been, yeah. I know it's over before he passed away. It was over 30, 35, 40 years of trucking, thirty something years of trucking. So. All that experience, I was taught. Um, so, a lot of experience. I just got a lot of knowledge for the truck. But the number one thing is don't, 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 don't fear yourself. The number one enemy. Don't fear yourself. If you feel like you can do it, something telling you to do it, go do it. But when you go do it, you gotta be a man by doing it. I'm gonna do it as a little boy. Go do, you know, yeah, the money gonna be there. The money gonna be there. The work that the money's gonna be there. But it ain't to, it ain't to just go crazy with it. Just to live your life comfortable. That's what your business is supposed to do. Make your life comfortable. Not hard. So, hey, but that's it, man. Uh, like I said, it's almost 1230. It's 1228 right now. Peace. Hey, uh, America, hope y'all enjoy this right here. This, this little short video. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a